Usually, if you rent something, you pay deposit. But in China, you have another option, just like this bike. This bike is not mine. I rent it and I pay one yuan per hour. But when I took it away, I didn't pay any deposit. Why is it? The Chinese government officially announced the plan to build up a nationally coordinated social credit system in 2014. In 2015, Alibaba subsidiary and financial launched Sesame Credit, a private credit system. All your shopping habits, your bank statement, and if you pay your bill on time will affect your Sesame Credit. For example, my Sesame Credit is 745, that's why I can rent the bike without deposit. Bikes are cheap, but what about a car? See? There is a sharing car. Generally, as far as I know, a deposit money for a sharing car is around 1,000 yuan. If you look at my bag, I can't afford a car, definitely. I can have five handbags like this with 1,000 yuan. Let's see what I can do with this sharing car. Yes, it says 700 sesame credit works. I can go with this car without leaving deposit. Otherwise, I should pay 700 yuan. I think the credit system actually helps me to get access to more social services. For those who are like me, we don't own houses, cars, or credit cards. This kind of information are not available for us to measure our financial situation. So thanks to the credit system, it offers an alternative means for us. Last August, I got my driving license. So uh, it has been even less than half a year I've been driving. Thanks to the sharing car, I practice a lot. The good thing is I haven't had any accident till now. It's Saturday, we are heading to a supermarket. Let's go to the market. And you can also use Sesame Credit in many other occasions. Without limit deposit, you can also borrow portable phone chargers, toys, umbrellas, clothes, watches, and phones. Also, your Sesame Credit report is accepted as a part of your financial statement when you are applying for a traveling visa in certain countries. During your trip, you can even book an B&B hostel without paying deposit as long as your Sesame Credit is over 550. So apart from private actors such as and financial Sesame Credit I mentioned before, the government is also building up a nationally coordinated system. Here I am at the credit reference center of the People's Bank of China. So here I will print out my personal credit report. So this is it. This is a self-help machine. Every citizen in China, as long as you have your personal ID card with you, you can print out your personal credit report. It's coming up. There it is. So the report has two pages. And there we are. This is my personal credit report. It's my first time to see it. I really need to someone to explain every details for me. Uh, Trustworthy people should be given enough rewards, but for those who break trust, should also pay for it. It brings me to another part of the government social credit system. Here I am at the Supreme People's Court in Beijing. Till February 2019, over 30 million people are named in a list of dishonest persons subject to enforcement by this court. They cannot go traveling by planes, 
they cannot go traveling by high-speed trains. They cannot go to luxury restaurants and they can't get a golf courses. They are unable to get an insurance and they can't even rent a house. If trust is broken in one place, restrictions are imposed everywhere. Actually, personal scoring system has been present in the West for decades. For example, eBay has a rating system for shipping times and communication. Uber passengers and drivers both rate each other. And many companies in the U.S. are using FICO scores to determine many financial decisions. China's social credit system only expands that idea to all aspects of life. This is a very trustworthy mechanism. Both data and rating are used responsibly and with citizens' permission. I do believe that it will help us to have a better life. She is so happy, isn't she? Hmm.